Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. My name is Digital Court. My real name is Courtney, obviously. And I'm gonna do a YouTube video before I go live on TikTok tonight, releasing my new um, Ultimate Custom Planning Bundle in neutrals. If you guys are have not been following me or didn't know, a couple of months ago, I released this big custom digital planning bundle, but there are very bright colors, which you know I love but I've been into the neutrals as I switch everything back to my pink stuff. But um, I wanted to do a video on it, show you guys how to use it. That way when I release it, I can reference this video. And also in this video, I'm gonna be making a couple of pictures to put on my Etsy posting of this um, product. So let me just quickly show you guys the ultimate custom planning bundle that I released a couple of months ago. It looks like this. It's very bright colors, really fun, glitter, all that kind of stuff. And the purpose of the of this bundle is to use this paper and use these stickers and make your own digital planner spread. And it's really, really fun. I do kind of mention a lot that if you are brand new to digital planning, this video will help you. This isn't the best place to start if it's your first purchase, but if you've been getting your feet wet and you're ready to try something a little more fun and customizable, this is awesome. So this was the colored version that I released and everybody loved it. It actually is one of my best selling items in my shop. And so I wanted to release something a little bit more subdued. I love these kind of tones. These are like my go-to colors. You guys know if you follow me on Instagram, my accessories and all that kind of stuff. These are my go-to colors for pretty much everything. Um, they're still colorful. I didn't want to do like all browns and black or whatever. I wanted to just do more subdued. So I'm going to swipe through. I also changed up all the widgets. That way you're not buying the exact same thing, just in different colors because we were ready for some new stuff. So I'm going to swipe through all the pages first and then I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of spreads so we can look at them together. Okay, so the first one is a week, a little bit longer on this one than the original one. And I included Monday through Friday. And then you'll see here we have a Saturday, Sunday. So you guys know I like to plan um, my weeks and then my weekend most of the time. Um, because I just, I don't know, I like to do, have a new spread for the weekend. And when Friday comes, I don't really like to look at what went on in the beginning of the week. I want to start fresh. So, um, I did these, which are super pretty. I love the colors and some bullet points over here. I did bullet points on one side and then space for anything that you want on the left stickers or anything. Um, and so those are the first two. These are just Monday through Sunday. I will show you guys how to use these. Um, and how cool they actually look, especially compared or combined with some of the other widgets I released. So I had to put them on two pages. Keep in mind, the placing of these on every page is not my favorite, but at the end of the day, the, it's just like a sticker book, basically. I didn't really care how they looked on here. I care how they look on your spread. Um, so we did two colors of these. Then we have breakfast, lunch, dinner, Monday through Friday with like little categories. So this could be like make your own meal planner. You could do a meal planner at the top and then weekly at the bottom. I will show you guys that. I love this. I also kept the weekends off. For me, I don't fully meal plan on the weekends. Um, I should, but I wanted to do Monday through Friday to kind of fit in. And then if you do want a meal plan, you guys can still use these meal planners on this side for like your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, so that came in, whoops, where did I, did I pass right by it? Oh no, this is it, sorry. Two colors, a lot of mauves, a lot of browns. I'm obsessed. Then I did some cool banners. I will show you guys how to work these, but I did weekly planner, daily planner in some really cool fonts and colors. So those are just some banners to put either at the top or the bottom or the side of your planner. This we have a laundry list. I love the idea of having like a little house task list. So I did the laundry list in a bunch of different colors. Um, then we're getting into the time blocking. I did two versions. I'm really excited to show you guys the second one. But this is the first version of the time blocking. It's just hourly, 7 to 11, 7 a.m. to 11 um, p.m. And they're long and thin. Um, and so that was one option, which really like these for the side of your planner. And then we have, I, I should switch these pages. Let me switch these really quick. We have um, laundry list, and then I also did grocery run and quick note for like little other lists that you want to make on your planner. Then these are the next time blocking. I don't think I've ever seen anything done like this before. I probably did not invent this, but I haven't seen it. And I thought this would be kind of interesting 
to do like six and then 6.30 on this side. So all the third, all the half hours are on the right side. And then the other, you know, the full hours are on this side. I don't know. Let's try it out and see what we think. I'm curious to see what you guys um, think about this. I'm pumped about it. If you don't want, um, if you just want one of the two, you can crop. But that's an option. Cooper, he wanted to say hi. Um, now we're getting into like some really, let me shut my door. Some really different stuff. Cooper, it's just the snow plow. It's so silly. We're getting into some different stuff that I have not, I did not do in the original custom bundle. We have these date and then description. So these, I'll show you how I'm going to be using these in a weekly spread. Okay. Really cool. Different. I included a weekly expenses one. So if you guys want to add them on some of your weeks, you can add them. We have date, description, amount. We have book lists. Um, these could be cool, not necessarily to put on a weekly spread. I mean, I don't know how much you guys are reading, but I thought these would be cool for um, the folders in the beginning of each month. If you guys are doing the folders or just like the cover page of your month, whatever you guys are doing to kind of maybe put whatever books you want to read that month, that year, whatever. We have to watch. I'm a to watch girl. Name, location. I didn't want to put streaming because, some, you know, maybe it's on live TV. I don't know. Um, or you're going to the movies. We have little recipe cards. I am so pumped about this. And what inspired me to do these is I kept taking screenshots. I've done this now a couple of times. I was taking screenshots of my recipe cards and then just cropping out the spiral. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make these so I can just transfer them onto my planner. The font is weird because it's for my mini, my mini iPad. Um, so these I'm super pumped. You guys can put the picture of your recipe and then the rating down here. And then we have name, time, temp. As I'm going over this, I am so excited. I included some date dots. They're really like simple, clean date dots. But maybe if this is your first purchase from me and you don't have any date dots, I wanted to make sure that you guys had some. And then we're just getting into the paper. I'm obsessed, cannot get enough of my sweater paper. So I wanted to do a few more like it. Um, so some textured here. This is like a woven. This is really cool and funky. Another sweater, another textured, another textured. This one is my favorite one. I did include it again in here in case you didn't buy the other paper. I wanted everyone to have it. No, I'm sorry. This, whoops, that one is the one. Um, they just look kind of similar, but I included both. And then I just added some plain other paper if you don't want the texture. So let's get into how you would actually use this. And I'll put like a timestamp if you guys maybe want to skip. I don't know. I'm talking out loud. Let me take a sip of my water. Um, now, obviously, you can combine any stickers or any templates that you want with this. But let's just use this one for example. I'm going to use, no, let's use, let's use this one. So I'm going to copy this page over. What you're going to want to do is copy this page and put it in your planner. I'm going to go to my daily and I'm just going to go straight to my front page here. I have to delete some of these. These are from my video yesterday, actually. Um, everything got canceled for me today. We, I was supposed to go to my Pilates class. I ended up working out here because we have a storm in New York, so... All right, I'm going to paste this new page over here, and that way I'm starting with a fresh page. And then I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to split my screen, and I'm going to pull up my pack. So one side, you're going to have all your custom, and the next side, you're going to have um, your paper, wherever you decide to put your planner. Let's make a weekly, for example. I'm not going to be filling this out. I'm just showing you guys this, for example. On live tonight, I probably will do something kind of fun like that and actually use it. So I thought these would be cute up here at the top if you're doing a weekly or daily. Now you can make them as small or as big as you want, but I'm just going to show you what I'm thinking for a lot of these. So let's say you want to do a weekly spread and at the top here, you want to have your plans. I can put this up here. Okay. Below it, I can come and grab the date description I'm just going to do a couple of setups so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You can do date description. I tried to do different colors so it could be like really fun. And then you could do like stickers up here for maybe stuff that you want to clean, things that you need to do, errands, and then actual events like appointments, places you have to be. You can do date description. You could even crop this out if you double tap it. Let's just say you only have a couple of things this week. 
You could even crop it out like that, okay? Then let's say you want to add a little weekly expenses. You can come over here. Again, you could do the same thing. If you don't think you're going to need all of them, you could crop it a little bit. And then you could let it fit like right here. Okay. Now I'm going to delete this so I can just show you another real method quick here. I'm going to grab the breakfast, lunch, and dinner one. And what I was thinking was it would be cool, instead of doing a meal planner and a weekly planner, you could just do both right underneath each other. Now, obviously, this is to Friday, so it's up to you guys how you want to do it. I will not use the meal planner for Saturday, Sunday, but if you did want to, you could add a little weekend here. Um, so I thought that was really cute. If you wanted to make your own meal planner section... You could do it like this. I'm just going to split this. I'm going to grab a weekend. And do something like that. Okay. And then you could write like meal planner at the top with one of your stickers. Now the labels and days really comes in handy here because if you're going to make a daily planner spread, that's like when you really want like all the different labels. But let's just, let me put together just a couple of different things here. I'm going to put the weekly spending back up here. The colors are so good. I feel like all the colors go well together, you know? Um, and I've also said this too, like this kind of planner, you don't need to do this every week. If you love and enjoy digital planning and it's like relaxing to you, this is like the, this is what you need. This is like the ultimate bundle that you really do need. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. I could sit here and play with this for hours. Um, and then you could do some recipes on here. But even if you wanted to leave it like that, let's put some date dots on here. I'm just going to grab, because this is not real, I'm just going to grab a couple. I probably would have made those smaller. But that looks cute. Um, and then you could come and grab your laundry list. Let me crop this down a little so it fits. That is so cute. So just like a bunch of different planner spreads here. So we have the weekend. Let's go back and grab a weekly. I will always need to pull from other sticker packs. Now you can put it up here at the top. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then you can go and grab like your meal planner stickers. I think I need to come out with some more meal planner stickers. Um, let's do a daily really quickly. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna grab daily. I'm trying to just use these stickers, which I guess I don't have to do because it's my YouTube channel, but. Okay, I'm going to try out one of these and just see what else fits on the page. Let's do cream. I'm really tempted to go into the animal deco really quickly. My issue is that I can't, I don't want to post it, but that's okay. I want to get like a background color on this. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and then I'm going to click arrange and send it to the back. I might need to add some of these. Like that looks really cute. Mm -mm -mm. These also, this release, this custom add-on would be really cute as well. I'm just going to use it really quick. And drag it over do you see how fun it is once you start getting like a lot of stickers you can just kind of like shop your own collection that is so cute let's go back to the neutral and let's grab i don't need the laundry list now maybe i'll grab our dinner recipe for tonight
done. And then you have your hourly, you have your top dashboard and whatever you're making for dinner. Isn't that cute? And see how quickly I'm doing it? Like it doesn't need to take forever. I think I should add a pack of these sticky notes because putting it behind like adds a really fun layer. I'm just gonna go like this. So you can stretch it out however big or small you want. And then I'm just gonna send it to the back. And then I'm gonna shrink this down. I even like it on like a slant. I was just getting a call, but I think I'm good, okay. Super cute. I think we need more neutral. I'm glad I did this before I went um, live with it because I think I'm gonna add a page of our push pins. These push pins were in the original custom bundle, but I think we need them because they really look adorable on the planner. So that's how you do it. Now, what's gonna happen is if you are new, you're gonna have all of your pages, where is it? All of your pages can stay in this notebook over here. And this is what you're gonna come and reference when you wanna grab these. Um, so I keep, I personally like to keep everything together. I keep all the paper together and then I just copy and paste it into my new notebook when I'm ready. If this is the first video you're watching of mine, definitely check out how to make a planner digital court style because th that video kind of shows you and explains how I organize my home screen. If you choose to do your digital planning this way, um, that's how you do it. You keep everything in a notebook and you copy and paste. So all my blank templates are in here. And I, whenever I want one, I come and grab one, I copy it and I move it over to my other notebook and that's it. Um, so I'm really excited about this one. I am going to go ahead and add a page of sticky notes and little push pins because it's a must. Um, but besides that guys, this is ready to go and I will be on TikTok tonight. So I'm hopefully going to get this video up soon once this is in the shop. That way, if you guys want it, you can purchase it. And I cannot wait to hear what your thoughts are. This is a really fun way to plan. So um, I will see you guys soon. I'm back on my YouTube roll. And um, come check me out on TikTok tonight. If you're seeing this video on January 9th on a Tuesday. If not, I'm live every other day anyway. All right, guys. I will see you in my next video. Have a fabulous day and stay safe in the snowstorm.